Hey y'all, it's Anime Cam and today I'm going to be reviewing the 48th episode of Gekage no Gitaro. And I gotta say, this episode was pretty darn intense. And what I really loved about this episode was it did wonders for Gitaro and Mana and Daddy Eyeball from a character standpoint. Because usually, throughout the Gekage no Gitaro series, we never really ever see Guitar make anything that can be qualified as like a major ass mistake. Usually when a character makes mistakes, it's usually either Mana doing like a relatively minor mistake, or Ratman making a major mistake, but usually you don't see Guitaro involved in like a major ass mistake. So for once, I actually like how they actually make him part of the reason why Nanashi gets so strong throughout the episode because of the hate that he's radiating because he's radiating it towards Mana and Mana's radiating it hates towards Kitaro and I kind of like this instance because it shows off that well yes Kitaro has many many heroic qualities to him and he's got a large amount of maturity at times when come push comes to shove there are gonna be moments where someone even as mature as Kitaro is going to make some major ass mistakes. And I like how this episode actually demonstrated it. And you even had Daddy Eyeball reprimand Kitaro, saying stuff like, you're the reason why Nashi got so much strength. And he's saying it with like legitimate anger, Daddy Eyeball. So I thought that scene near the end was really, really marvelous. It makes Kitaro feel like a more fleshed out character. So that's what I really loved about this episode from a character standpoint. And I like how... For a second, he was temporarily possessed, seemingly possessed by the Nashi aura. Same with Mana. And I like the sequence where Gitaro's like, can't, says he can't forgive Mana. Mana's like, he can't forgive Gitaro. And then when it looked like they were about to confront, like the Nashi just takes up the hatred energy from them. And that's when you could out tell Gitaro fucked up. And I like the moment where Daddy Eyeball pretty much was yelling at Gitaro. It was all so, so damn good. And it was intense too. Just seeing like the way Mana was crying at because Nanashi, that evil son of a bitch, is making it seem like um, the mother is dead. And I was like, yo, this shit's like, just feels so intense emotionally. Just seeing Mana cry like that, distressed, it was like, damn. So all in all, just great moments in this episode. Each and every moment was great. And I also like how in this episode you had Daddy Eyeball have his cool character moments too, like when these yokai were about to go attack humans, but then Daddy Eyeball convinces them not to attack and to wait, and then they all decide to follow Daddy Eyeball. And I also like sequences like that too, showing off that sometimes not everything can be solved through fighting, sometimes just talking can solve things. And that's what I really love about Daddy Eyeball in this episode. They, this episode gave him some moments to shine. And not just verbally, I liked how he even had him do a cool action sequence where he gave Kitaro enough time to fall back because Nanashi was dominating Kitaro and Daddy Eyeball pretty much uses a lot of strength to do a powerful ass finger gun, but then he gets seemingly annihilated. So that was also another cool thing about this episode. It showed Daddy Eyeball's selflessness because he sacrificed himself, but... I'm, think, I'm thinking that eyeball's going to come back because there's a key visual for Gekigeno Gitaro Guitaro Season 2 and it shows Guitaro and Daddy Eyeball. So I'm assuming he's alive unless that key visual is just trying to like trick us and for all we know, maybe Daddy Eyeball actually dies this season and it just show in that little key visual with Daddy Eyeball is maybe just a ghost or maybe a figment of Guitaro's imagination. I mean, sometimes movies or media do, do, do that where a anime character can die, and when you see an anime character back, it's just like a ghost. Kind of like, say, in, um, like in Naruto, so, oh I don't know if I should spoil it, but there's a certain character that dies, and then there's a sequence where they come back, but it was just in like a ghost form, so maybe it's that, but for now, I'm a, for now though, it doesn't look like it's too bad for Daddy Eyeball, because he didn't seem like he was obliterated, so... There's hope that he can regenerate. Although, what I really did like about this episode, though, it seemed to have confirmed that, yeah, Cat Chick was permadeath, even though she is my favorite character. Did like how it shows there's consequences, because you even have one of the yokai straight up, but yeah, Cat Chick, no. She was 
literally obliterated her soul. So I was like, I don't know. And even though that kind of hit me, I still got to give credit to Oli for having some, some really guts to do that bravery to get rid of one of the most popular characters in the series. And uh, yeah, so that also gave the story in this show more intensity. So that's why I thought this episode did well from a character standpoint. Good, great moments for Daddy Eyeball, Guitaro, Mana, Gomas with Anash just being an evil sack of shit. I really like that too. Because here's the thing about Nanashi. Yeah, he may not directly talk to the characters, but what I really like about him is he's making things happen through his actions. And that's what I love. A villain that just does things through actions and affects the plot in this way was great. Especially when he caused emotional distress to Katara because Katara legitimately thinks his father is dead. And seeing that final sequence where Katara's scream was also a beautiful scene because now that we get to see Katara mad, we got to see Katara sad too so this episode did a great job of showing his range of emotions and i gotta give credit to Katara's actress for being able to betray that wide range of emotions so that's why i thought this episode did really well again from the story standpoint just made you feel sad for all the characters involved and it makes you want to root against Anashi even more it makes you want to see that sack of shit get taken down and i also like how this episode seemingly set up rat man to um have a hand in saving the day because it looks like in the preview he might actually give Katara some motivation. So that's another nice thing too. Because I've been wanting to see Bratman be put more to use. So all in all, this episode was nothing but great moments plus great setup for seemingly we're going to be heading for a great season finale. And I cannot wait. So that's why I thought this episode was really successful. And as for the other departments, our animation were spot on and they were fucking amazing. Gotta give credit to Toei in the sequence where Nanashi was like, um, became like this gigantic ass baby. It looked super fluid like a jelly and I loved it. Like honestly, every scene in this episode popped. Even the sequences were the yokai and glowing eyes. It, they looked really fierce and they looked really intense and I loved it. So, Toei gets perfect marks in that regard from me. And that's why I'm gonna rate this episode a 10 of 10. Can I give this episode anything less than that because of just the amount of content it gave us. Gave us intensity sadness and just plain anger at Nanashi and honestly a lot of anime episodes cannot really do that for me and this episode somehow made me feel all these range of emotions at once and that's why I thought this episode was completely masterful and I cannot wait for more oh man next week's gonna be a fun one so anyways guys and guys this is my thoughts on the episode coming on your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section rate the video subscribe and I'll see you guys later subscribe for more because I'm definitely pumped up to see the finale, and I'm definitely going to try it, because I might be a bit late next week. <clears throat> but I'm going to try to be there for the live reaction and review videos as early as possible next week, all right? All right, well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great and safe week, and I'll see you guys later if you subscribe for more. And all right, bye-bye.